Hey guys, um, so this is going to be one of my more serious series blogs, um, only because just um, I was recently discussing something with someone. It's totally public conversation on Facebook, so it's not like I'm saying anything I shouldn't be saying. But um, it was about the concept. It, it's it's very broad. We basically there was a post. Go look at it. I'll post the link in the comments if I think it's worthy of it. Although I really probably won't. Um, but it's basically a giant conversation involving um, whether or not we should sort of keep religion in sort of thing. And through it all, it made me realize something that is just an interesting belief I have, which is that there is basically one innate thing that humans have, one innate reason we do what we do. And, one second, I'm going to set this down. It's easier for me. Okay. As long as the fan doesn't blind you guys. Okay. So, there is one thing that we humans do as just a standard thing. And it's do anything we can to get satisfaction. And that satisfaction is due to the fact that it makes us feel good. And that is that itself is the innate human desire, is to make ourselves feel good. We do that in all kinds of ways, more than you'd think. Um, we eat because it makes us full. That makes us satisfied. That makes us happy. We, let's see, what else do we do? We um, make new friends because that makes us happy to know new people. We go to sleep because we're tired and it makes us feel good to get that sleep. Um, we avoid conflict because it's avoiding pain, which can be the net opposite of happiness because when we feel pain, we don't feel happy. Um, and one of the key ones that most people don't realize is that the reason why most people do good deeds is not because they're good. Most people do them because it feels good inside. And that's a good logical reason to do good things. And I agree that it's, if you can't find any other way to do it, then go ahead. Go do good things for this because it makes you feel good. I'm, I'm glad of that. But what is a real challenge, what is really difficult to do, is to be good for the sake of being good. I know very few people who know how to do that. And it's certainly a talent to those who can. That's one thing I try and work at pretty much every day is do that. Because when we step away from our innate human desires, our our need to fulfill our own needs, then we can actually focus on those around us and make them happier, which is really key, because that's not something most people think about doing nowadays. Everyone's all blah, 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 me, blah, 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 me. What college am I going to? What am I going to have for dinner? Um, where are my friends hanging out with me later? I mean, it's never more of a thing of, I wonder if I can help that person because that person needs help. That never happens. Name, I bet half of you out there who watch this, which I know probably end up being like max 100 people, especially if this one gets popular, um, but most of you out there don't do good deeds for the sake of doing good deeds. It's, it's true, and that's not your own fault. That's the way that our society is raised. We focus on all these selfish needs and focus on ourselves, but we need to instead turn our focus on others, focus on other people's problems as well, not just on ours, because we aren't the only people who are having issues. We like to think that. I know the past year, all the stuff that I've gone through, which I know is pretty minor, actually, I've only thought about myself. But I've recently started thinking, well, I'm not the only guy who's gone through this. There are other people who have the issues that I have. So why don't I try and help them instead? Why don't we instead just help those people who need help instead of just focusing on making ourselves happy? It's a simple goal. It sounds harder than it actually is. Just no one ever thinks to do it. So why not? Why don't we do that? I think it would be a great goal for us as humans and as a race. And as America, since we've gotten pretty lazy, I think turning to something a little bit more like that, turning to more altruism, and turning to actually look at find ways to solve our problems instead of just complaining about them, which is completely another topic. But that's another issue we have. I think that this itself would be a right move in the right direction. So do that. I know I don't normally ask you guys to do things, but this is this is one of those things I really care about, is that we do good for the sake of doing good. Let, let's do that. Let's not just, oh, well, why does that make me feel better? And I'm not saying do this to make me feel good about uh, doing good. I'm not saying do this good because it makes you feel good. I'm saying literally do this good because someone else out there needs help, and they can't get it. Sometimes people just don't have the help isn't accessible to them, and you just got to help them because if they're not going to get that help, then... Who knows? Could create a crazy chain reaction. I remember I posted a long thing on someone. Actually, it was probably part of the same conversation. Um, where, let's say, you didn't 
help. It was all about the whole chain reaction, the domino effect. Now, let's say there's an old lady who needs help crossing the street, and you don't want to help her because you're lazy and because you don't see how it could possibly serve you, right? So, well, what if that old lady gets hit by a car? But not just that. What if when that old lady gets hit by a car, the car driver, this 50-year-old man, is, basically he goes to court and is sent to jail for vehicular manslaughter. I mean, there's nothing he can do about that. He hit her, and if she's dead, then it's manslaughter. And specifically vehicular. So, while that's happening, what if then his wife gets a second job? And basically has no time to spend with the rest of her family. So because of that, what if the brother... of the, What if they had two kids? Let's just say they had two kids. And one of them's uh, older brother, one of them's a younger sister, okay? So, what if the older brother then, since he didn't have any time to spend with his uh, family... What if he then started to hang out with the wrong crowds? It's totally realistic. It could totally happen. I know plenty of people who have hung out with the wrong crowds because of that, because they don't have the family support. So what if that happened? And then, theoretically, let's say he gets into a bad enough crowd that either he gets into drugs, which will definitely destroy his life, or a bad enough crowd that maybe has the desire to do some illegal stuff, then he gets basically caught. But, worst case scenario, what if he then goes and, let's say, rob a bank? shoots a teller and dies in the process because of police gunfire. I mean, that's pretty bad itself. But then, what if because of all that, because this little girl, who, let's just peg her at nine, doesn't have any familial support anymore, what if she then commits suicide? It's The domino effect is amazing. That right there was nine, ten people who just had their lives completely screwed up because you made one little simple choice just to be selfish. Now, I'm not saying it's not okay to be selfish, but when you can help others just because you can help others, do it. Please. Please, just do it. Help everyone you can. It's more important than you think. This, this vlog's gone pretty long, but for me, it's really because it's so important. And please, if you know people who don't get this idea of doing good for the sake of doing good, please share this with them. Now, I'm not, this isn't me publicizing or anything. This is me just trying to get the point across that doing good is good. You shouldn't do it because it makes you feel good, even though that may be a great reason to do it. If you can, you should do good just for the sake of doing good. With all that said, that's the end. Later, guys.